Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, who may be new to the channel, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, like Instagram, like YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is how to throw your own shows. This video was pretty much inspired by a question that I got on Instagram in which they asked, could I make a video about throwing events and putting them together and things like that. Plus, I'm always telling you guys to reach out to me that I think that throwing your own show can be a good move especially for those of you who are in the beginning of your careers trying to get the ball rolling with performances and things like that. Now the first three steps are actually pretty simple. You'll want to find a team, determine your budget, and of course figure out what date you want the show to be on. Now I do encourage you all to definitely find you a team of people that can help you put this event together. Hypothetically speaking you could throw the whole show yourself but trust me it'll definitely be stressful as all hell in the end. Now personally I like to have at least three other people helping me when playing events. It just helps to have people that you can delegate tasks to and have people who pick up on things that you may have forgotten about especially in the pressures that comes with throwing a show and of course you need to know your budget because that will pretty much be the parameter of which you base the entire event on now you may want to throw your show in that nice downtown venue with the rooftop setting but if you only have four hundred dollars to your name then you're gonna have to plan your show a little bit differently and of course you need a date make sure you give yourself enough time out so you can promote it at least three weeks from the time that you plan on putting it and that's if you want to be very last minute and try to put together a show pretty quickly other than that i would say give yourself at least two months outside of when you actually start planning the event then the next thing that you'll want to do is to find a venue now this is definitely a crucial step in throwing an event i've seen events crash and burn because they picked the wrong venue it was terrible it was in a bad spot it didn't have nice sound equipment a bunch of different reasons man a venue is definitely an important piece now what constitutes a good venue does change from person to person but pretty much you want to a make sure it's in a good location b make sure that it's affordable and c make sure it fits the amount of people that you realistically think will come but also isn't too spacious that it makes your event look dead in the event that there aren't that many people there now when in doubt go for the smaller venue if you don't know how many people are coming out it's always better to overcapacitate a venue than to not have enough people to fill it out now next you'll want to find local acts to be on your show now assuming you don't have a headliner for your show so these local acts are pretty much the entree for the entire event that's going on. Now, if you're an artist, this is the point where you need to kind of step back and think about the scene that you've seen going around you in your city and think about what acts would come together to make a good show and actually bring out a crowd of people that you'll want to perform in front of. Try not to curate shows that are just your friends. Remember that after all of this, you do want to dip into different audiences. So reaching out to other local acts that are in your scene that you know can bring out five or 10 or 15 or 20 people would be a good way to pretty much pack out the show and make sure that there's a diverse crowd of people that actually want to come and engage with the show. Next, you're going to want to determine if you want to have a headliner. Now, you don't necessarily need a headliner. I've definitely seen shows that pack out the venue without having out a major act or some big superstar coming through just to bring people out. As a matter of fact, shameless plug, I throw a festival in Atlanta called Blue Summer and we've pretty much been packing out our event with just local acts from the Atlanta scene that we like and that we want to work with. But there are rappers who have taken taking throwing their own shows as an opportunity to bring out a bigger act because they know that that act will bring out people and then they just put themselves right on in front of it. A good example is this artist out of Memphis named I Don't Know Jeffrey. He pretty much talked about it in his No Jumper interview. See, that's really how I got out. Like, I made music, I got kind of known, and then I started, like, booking niggas for shows. Like, I booked uh -huh. Suicide Boys, Eddie Baker, Smurf, all in Dallas, and I performed with them. Oh, so that's how know. you sort of slipped I yourself paid, in yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. snuck yeah, in. I didn't even take smart. any money. Like, I just gave them all the money. That shit, Did that shit, like, three times. That's a fucking just paid they ass. These niggas book a lot of shows. On. I do a lot of shit. I really don't even get booked like that. Up. Niggas really don't be booking me like the Air Blue Moon. All, a lot of these shows be like behind me and like my homies, yeah. like money. Like we get the venue ourselves. Yeah, we did some with Chris, but like the last few ones been with me. And the next one's probably going to be with me. But like 
We do all this shit ourselves. We just put our money together, get the venue, keep it all. That's dope. Yeah, that's how I got my name. I really like. I really don't even get booked like that, to be honest. So, like I was saying, you don't have to have a headliner act, but having one doesn't necessarily hurt you. Go back to the first step and pretty much determine if it's going to fit within your budget. So, real quick, let's run through what we have so far. You have your team. You've decided your budget. You know what date you're going to throw the show. You've picked the venue, and you've decided what local acts you want to perform. And you've also decided whether or not you want to have a headliner act. Act. Pretty much at this point, all you need to do is to make sure that all the other little specifics have been covered. Do you have a DJ? Does your venue provide sound equipment? If it doesn't, do you know where you're going to get it? Do you have a sound guy to run this sound equipment? Do you need security? Do you need someone to run a bar? These are all little details that you need to take care of depending on the other parts of your show that come together. Pretty much, these are things that you need to think about in advance to make sure that you don't have some little mishap come up in the long run. Outside of that, make sure that you have all the materials you'll need for a show such as wristbands tickets all these things once again these are all pretty much little checkpoints that you'll need to check off to make sure that the show is going to go well once you have all of these things the only thing you need to do after that is to promote the event make sure you tell all of your friends make sure you have the acts promoting make sure you have the dj and anyone that's involved in a part of the show is actually hands-on in promoting this event to make sure that the most amount of people as possible will actually come and check it out and if you've been watching this video this whole time wondering why would i want to throw my own show so why would I even want to put myself through that stress? Pretty much, it can be a good way to give yourself some show experience, especially if you're not at the point where promoters are just reaching out and booking you on the regular. You could sit around and wait for a promoter to book you. You could pay to get on to somebody else's show. Or you could take that same amount of time and money and resources and put your own event together, giving yourself some show experience and some event planning experience as well. Now, just to help you guys out, I've made a little checklist of things that you need to make sure are taken care of before your show can get started. I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description below as well. Well, let me know if it helps you guys out. Now, as always, guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time.